Hello again, we're looking at chapter 2 uh, and we're looking at a review of the uh, better ticket machine and we're also going to introduce you to control statements and specifically the if-else statement. So when we previously looked at the naive ticket machine we could see that it's failed in a number of ways. Um, when we entered a negative amount uh, to the um, to put in some funds um, we could see that it didn't matter and it would um, come back with something which wasn't really required so we didn't check on the amounts that were rented and um, there was no refunds uh, and there was no uh, checks for a sensible initialization so we need to improve this ticket machine a little bit more and one of the ways we're going to do it is using the if else statement so let's have a look at um, the black box consideration of the uh, better ticket machine what it's doing from the outside and how it's different so here's our ticket machine I'm going to click compile and then create our new ticket machine object. Now, there's nothing that's changed so far. In our constructor, we still have int cost, so it's still a parameter required of cost with the type of integer. Let's put in our integer amount, so let's put in so it's 100 cents to the cost for this particular ticket. Okay, that, and then have a look at the new object on the object bench. Uh, we can do a get balance, which we've seen previously, a get price, uh, which we've seen previously. Um, so let's just try this uh, insert money. So again, we need an, uh, a parameter of type int. So let's insert 25 cents into the machine. OK, that. And let's try and print our ticket straight away. So when we try and print our ticket, it says you must insert at least 75 more cents. Uh, let's just clear that now so you can see that happening. Uh, print ticket and it will say you must insert at least 75 more cents. So it's now giving us an error message uh, that we haven't put in enough money. So let's just put in our get balance and see how much we put in. We're saying here that it's returning um, 25 cents as how much we've put in. And let's get the price again. This is 100 so we need to put in effectively 75 more cents. So I'm going to insert some money here, but I'm going to try and just fool the machine a little bit. I'm going to try and put in minus 25 to see what happens. Uh, Blue Jay is coming back this time with use a positive amount rather than minus 25. So it's taken our parameter and said, look, this is wrong, uh, given us a message and then given the parameter back um, in the form of a string here to the terminal window. So let's try and insert some more money then. Let's um, insert the full amount that's required. So let's insert 75 cents. OK, that. And then try and print it. And hey presto, the printing then works. After we put in the correct amount, the printing works. Let's just try printing another ticket. But now it's already printed the one ticket out. So all of a sudden, um, we're back to zero again. And you must insert 100 more cents. So it is behaving a little bit cleverer. Than, uh, than the naive ticket machine. Uh, now we've done the demo, um, uh, before we go into the actual looking at the code, I just want to introduce you to the if else statement. Um, we use if else all the time in life, so for example, if I have enough money, then I'll go out for a meal, otherwise, I'll stay home and watch a movie. Um, so we've got, uh, we use this if else, we're, we're aware of what the English version of this is, and this is trying to interpret our English version into a computer based version. Um, if you want to have a look at the better ticket machine, then please investigate using those exercises which are shown there. and will give you a chance to do that during the lesson. Um, here is some Java pseudocode as to what it looks like. So pseudocode is what we use to describe code which is similar to Java but not actually acceptable by Java. So the way that the structure is, um, we use the if um, reserved word. Uh, and then we have to have a, um, a parentheses, open parentheses, a certain boolean statement, and then a close parentheses. Open brace, uh, go out for a meal, and then close brace. So if the thing in the uh, parentheses is true, so if this bit here is true, then we need, then we can go and pr produce this statement. If this bit here is false, then this happens. Uh, we put an else um, reserved word here, open brace, close brace, and if this is false, then this bit will happen. So let's have a look at that again. Uh, here we have um, the a more uh, standardized version of what we're talking about. If, uh, and then we prefer, prefer um, do these statements if the test gave a true result. Um, and so then we've got the close parentheses there, 
uh, or close brace there um, to finish it off. Um, the perform if the statement up here is actually false, then we'll go into the else statement here, um, and then we'll if if the uh, if the result is false. So let's have a look at that in Java, how that actually looks. So if we look in our ticket machine, let's just reset the uh, virtual machine there um, and go and look into the ticket machine. Let's have a look at the insert money. Okay, so what we're saying is, remember we need, when we're using an if statement, we need if, open parentheses, close parentheses, then open brace and close brace. Now, whatever's in the parentheses is done. If um, it, what, what, whatever's in the parentheses is is checked immediately as a boolean statement. If that's true, then we'll do what's in the braces. So there's our boolean statement, which is tested. If the amount which the user has given is greater than zero, now the amount remember is taken from here, which the user has given. So if the amount is greater than zero then do what's in the braces. In this case we're going to say balance equals balance plus amount. Um, so balance if you remember is a field so it's the field plus whatever the, the, the field was previously plus the amount which has been given in by the user. So what we're doing there is we're testing to see if it's greater than zero. If it is then fine, if not it's a negative amount. So if the boolean statement here turns out to be false then we will proceed with the else statement. In this case, we're doing a quick. In this case, we're doing a quick error message to say um, that the person needs to use a positive amount rather than the amount which they've used. Uh, in this case, it will be a negative amount, like I did uh, for minus twenty-five. So that's the insert money. That's what's going on there. Um, for the actual printing of the ticket, again, we need to check because previously we we could in the naive ticket machine just print out a ticket um, and. Um, uh, irrespective of how much money we put in the machine. So here we'll, let, we'll check how much you've put in. So we've got two fields, the balance and price fields, and it says if the balance is greater or equal than the price of the ticket, um, then it will print out the ticket. So let's remind ourselves what balance and price is. The price of the ticket is the price as um, which we created when we initially created the object, um, and then the balance is the amount of money entered by the customer so far. Um, so what we're saying is, has the customer put in enough money? So if the balance is greater or equal to the price, then yes, if that's true, we can print out the ticket. Um, if that's not true, then we print out another error message. So if it's not true, we print out that error message there. Now, if you remember doing maths and your bod mass, you'll know that you need to do the brackets before you do um, the rest of, uh, of a particular um, sum um, or piece of algebra. Here it's exactly the same in Java. Uh, it has to do the brackets first. So what we do is we do the price minus the balance. Um, so uh, this will give you the difference of how much you need to put out. So if the price of the ticket is 100, I've only put in 25 um, as my balance, then it's 100 minus 25 equals 75, so it'll be 75 left. So then in that case it will say you must insert at least 75 more cents remembering that we're using string concatenation there to uh, create that complete output. Uh, the, um, once it's printed out the ticket, so if, it's, uh, if it is true, if the balance is greater than the price, um, then it will print out that ticket as it's done before, um, and it will also um, then update the total. It will update the total corrected within the price, and it will reduce the balance by the price as well. Okay, so that's what it will do, and the if-else statement there is making our computer program and our application a lot more believable. Um, one final thing which we're going to look at more in class, doing statements and if statements, we need to chase positives. So we don't want to be chasing negative, so if something negative, we want to be chasing if something positive, and we'll explain that in the lesson. Uh, that's it on introducing of the if-else statement. Hope that was useful, um, and we'll see you in the lesson for some more.